So <coughs> coming down the hill past St. Tylo's um, last Tuesday, go down as far as Gerwin's Fruit and Veg, <coughs> lorry parked outside unloading for Gerwin, and cars parked opposite by the houses about 9.30 in the morning. So traffic was heavy with a school run. And then coming up the hill towards me, I saw a big red shiny Massey Ferguson tractor with a smart new loader on it and a very new three axle diver Williams livestock trailer charging up the hill through the congestion. Driven by a believing man of my acquaintance, travelling some distance between his two big farms. It was as if he didn't want to trouble his brake fluid any. He wasn't touching the brakes. He was just weaving through the traffic. He was coming through, and he did. Fair play, Stuart, if you're listening. For an old bloke, you were fairly pressing on, okay? He really was, he was coming. If he is listening, I was at Silver Ford Fiesta that chose the pavement, right? So, commitment. He was forging on. He had work to do. He was doing his stuff that day. He was pressing on, and there he came. He came through. Commitment to Christ. Could we, in hours, be described as fairly pressing on? I mean, why would you actually stir yourself to get out of bed and come to this church today when the morning was cold and you didn't want to? Or when you felt you had somewhere better to go? Or why turn out to run a youth club or teach a Sunday school class or set out tables or chairs or fix the video up? Or get out of bed tomorrow to meet with God and read your Bible before work? This is a sermon about being committed to Christ as he is committed to fulfilling the plans and the purposes of Almighty God. Because he sets us an example in this passage today, in Mark 10, 32 to 34, of fairly pressing on, as he forges on, on the road to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover, where he is going to be the sacrificed Passover lamb. Now, this is the king, okay? He calls upon us to follow him as his disciples heeding the call of the kingdom and pressing on with its work. And this Passover, on his way to Passover, he takes his disciples aside and he spells out for them what the immediate future holds. And it's going to be tough for them. It's going to be extremely tough for him. It's going to be very tough for them. What could ever inspire you sufficiently to do that? Yeah, following a saviour who was fairly pressing on for your salvation and mine to do what we couldn't do for ourselves considering him so the message for today is keep calm and press on because he did worshipping God casting the shadow of the cross So how are we helped here with our feeble and faltering commitment to walk with Christ in the way of the cross? We follow a saviour who sacrificed himself and who did that for sheer love for you and me. He did it because he loved you and me and because there was no one other good enough to pay the price of sin. Unless its price is paid, then for you and me, all is lost. He sacrificed himself for us, the people on his heart. And if he's on our heart, we follow him in that way. He did not commit suicide, you understand. He did not seek euthanasia, you understand. He did not die as an example of anything. He died as a conscious, willing, determined sacrifice for sin. And he did it in accordance with the scriptures. He did it for sin. Mine. And yours. He did not end his life. He did not waste his life. He did not throw his life away. He invested his life in the will of his Father, in the sure and certain hope of an eternity peopled with resurrected saved sinners. People once helpless, now ineffably helped. Grace bought freed sinners like you and me. That's what he did. That's what he did. He pressed on to that. 
And here's what faith says in response. It says something like this. Do you recognize this quote? If Jesus Christ is God, and he died for me, then nothing is too much for me to do for him. Faith says, he is my hero. He is my inspiration. He is the one I follow. And faith says, I'm going to follow that Jesus wherever he goes. And his disciples pressed on behind him towards Jerusalem.